at the 2009 International Council of Air Shows Convention in Las Vegas, Nevada. We had a chance to work with a number of the professionals in attendance, about 1,500 in all, by the way, and talk to them a little bit about their feelings about the season that just concluded and the season ahead. But we also had a lot of fun with question number five, which very simply put, and in many cases was very difficult to answer, what was your best moment as an air show performer or professional? What sticks out in your mind? What's number one? What's your best air show moment? I think the best moments that I've, I've enjoyed in the short 10 years that I've been in this business are the times that I've spent with the kids, especially the kids, either before or after I fly, and usually after. Actually, I've had some moments where I've been practicing for a show out in all over this, this beautiful country. I call them religious moments, where it's just you, the airplane, and what you can do with the airplane. The ability to go out there, fly your show, and then get the comments about your presentation, your choreography, how the message that, if you have a message that you try to get across, is actually getting across and making a difference. And I've had that happen several times, well, a lot of times. Those are the kind of moments that I look forward to, and those are the kind of moments that, that keep me trying to, trying to make it in the business side so I can, uh, I can keep, hopefully, having more of those type of inspirational moments. The first time I pushed the thrust lever forward on my own jet engine aircraft that I, that I designed, uh, or designed at least part of, and I'd ran all, ran all the numbers and everything, but we just, you know, we just didn't know what it was gonna do. And, uh, and when that lifted off the ground, Probably it's it's a moment that uh, it's just it's hard to compare. I think it has to uh, it has to be uh, when I was flying the Phantom in the Heritage flight, and we had uh, one of the best Heritage flight formations that uh, I think that has ever been. I don't think it's been topped these days. I was in a Phantom, leading two F 86s one with my good friend Dale Snort, Snort Snodgrass, the other one uh, with uh, Ed Shipley. And then uh, Hack Hickman was in a Viper in the slot. We nailed the three passes perfectly. The music was timed great. The crowd reaction was uh, a combination of tears and applause. And you could feel it in the airplane. You could feel how good it was. I, I always go back to that moment. When I was a youngster, my first air show, I saw a Dale Snodgrass flying a, a F-14. And a gentleman Jim Parker, him and Dale and the Tomcat did a canopy to canopy pass. I took a little picture of that when I was a kid and I still have that picture in my refrigerator. And in 08, it all kind of came full circle and I got to fly with Snort in a Mustang during a practice heritage flight. So all these years later to come around and now have my hero on speed dial, it's, that's probably the best moment in air show so far. The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology. The best experience for me in the airshow business has not been in an airplane. Uh, it's getting in front of people. And I have a, a youth program called Elevate Your Life, which we do all over the country. Talk to young people. And, you know, when you can take what you do for a living, what you're passionate about, and connect with young people and see that look in their face and then get those kind of questions afterward, the kind of questions that, you know, you would have asked when you were their age, then you realize, I think what I'm doing may be worthwhile. Well, believe it or not, as an air show professional, flying is a great part of what we do. But the biggest thing I have is when we walk up to the fence and a a young little boy walks up and says, wow, I really want to do that one day. And to know that maybe I've inspired him in some way. Top of my list of, in my career of performing air shows, of course, would always have to have been, well, first off, performing with my father. Well, I was, of course, I grew up around air shows. My family's been doing this for 43 years now. And I performed with my dad for many years. And working with him was always something I thoroughly enjoyed. He was always, you know, he's my father, but he was also my best friend. And I enjoyed that, working with him very much. But here recently it's kind of the say along the same lines but of course working with my wife my wife's my manager she's my wing walker and it's along the same lines where i enjoy working with her and uh, keeping in the family it's a, it's a lot of fun it, it's a real privilege to perform for uh, for people that really appreciate it i would say my probably 
One of my greatest memories would be running across somebody who has a story to tell me about their experience in, in the airplane I'm flying or an airplane just like it. Whether it's uh, warbird stories or uh, freight hauling stories, whatever it is, my performance inspires them to, to tell me a story about. Uh, you know, I, I, really, uh, I really enjoy that. In all seriousness, it, it's the kids. When you go to the autograph booth and the kids come up and they saw you fly and they're excited and they're just happy to meet you and be in the booth with you, that's, that's touching. And I think that's, for me, that's, that's, that's what I get out of it. That's my personal satisfaction. You know, I fly for me. I, I fly in a way that, that I enjoy. And I think if I do that, then the crowd enjoys it too. But it's when you get on the ground and people come up to you and, and you see a kid and he talks to you and he asks you how you did it or how you do that maneuver or whatever he asks you and their eyes are wide open, you've touched them, you've inspired them. And that's, that's extremely personally satisfying. Everything else is just a vehicle to get you to that destination. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. Going up the fence and talking to kids, it's just, you know, some shows we do are remote shows where you don't get to interact with the kids. And, and I think if they all went to remote shows, I think we'd quit. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. But you know, the film we did, uh, or the interview at Arlington uh, last summer, when that, when that kid walked up with that airplane and he he just presented it to me, was a, an amazing, amazing moment. It was, uh, I, it's very hard to explain, but then I realized then why well, I really enjoyed this so much. And as I said, then it wasn't about me, it was about what the airplane represented, the freedom of the airplane and all. All the rest that goes with this. So, I've, to date, that was my best moment. Best, best moment was the surprise, surprise, the surprise I had when I was nominated for not nominated, but uh, named the art show thing. And it was it was a total surprise. I was at the table, and actually Susan came over and she gave me an art show pin. Uh, she said, "And I, what's this?" And she said, "Well, we always give this." give this pin to the next person that's got it, and of course it's half an hour away, so I have to start writing notes, so it was a tearful, happy, gratifying moment, which I never thought of, totally unsurprised, totally surprised, and unexpected, so it was a, uh, a very neat deal uh, for me, and uh, it was very fulfilling. I've had a lot of great air show moments. I've been so blessed to be in this business and experience flying with some of the greatest of the greats. Bob Hoover. I remember when Patty Wax, Wagstaff and I, the first time we got to circle the jump rules with the Eagle Aerobatic teams, and Charlie got let, invited me to do that. Uh, snap rolling with Leo Loudenslager, uh, flying with Mike Goulin and kicking his butt in the CASPA championships. Um, but truly the best moment is seeing those kids and seeing what you create just by doing a perfect loop or almost a perfect loop or a perfect roll and seeing the unmitigated joy and happiness you create in a, perfect, in a person's heart through this magic we call flight.